call them temple caves. Yeah. Why, why temple? A temple with images and um, stained glass windows, uh, cathedrals, are uh, a landscape of the soul. You move into a world of spiritual images. That's what this is. When Jean and I, my wife and I, drove down from Paris to this part of France, we stopped off at Chartres Cathedral. There is a cathedral. When you walk into the cathedral, it's the mother womb of your spiritual life. Mother Church, all the forms around are significant of spiritual values. And the imagery is in anthropomorphic form. God and Jesus and uh, the saints and all in human, human form. Human form. Then we went down to Lascaux. The images were in animal form. The form is secondary. The message is what's important here. And the message of the cave? The message of the cave is of a relationship of time to eternal powers that um, is somehow to be uh, experienced in that place. Now, I tell you, when you're down in those caves, it's a, it's a strange transformation of consciousness you have. You feel this is the, the womb. This is the place from which life comes. And that world up there in the sun with all those feet, that's a secondary world. Mm. This is primary. I mean, this just overcomes you. You had that feeling when I, you were I had it every time. Now, what were these caves used for? Yeah. The speculations that uh, are most uh, common of scholars interested in this is that they had to do with the initiation of boys into the hunt. Uh, you go in there, it's dangerous. Uh, it's very dangerous. It's completely dark. It's cold and dank. You're banging your head on projections all the time. And it was a place of fear. And the boys were to overcome all that and uh, go into the womb of the earth. And the shaman or whoever it was that would be uh, helping uh, you through would not be making it easy. And then there was a release once you got into that vast torchlit chamber down there. What was the tribe, what was the tradition trying to say to the boy? That is the womb land from which all the animals come. Nice. And the, the rituals down there have to do with the generation of a situation that will be uh, propitious for the hunt. And the boys were to learn not only to hunt, but how to respect the animals and what rituals to perform and how in their own lives, no longer to be little boys, but to be men. Because those hunts were very, very dangerous hunts, believe me. And um, the, these are the original men's right sanctuaries where the boys became no longer their mother's sons, but their father's sons. 